Normally in kinematics problems, we would make a SUVOT table to record all of our variables, but for these level one problems, you're not even required to really read the problem and decode anything. All the variables are just given to you like this. So the task for each of these problems is to just identify which equation you're going to use based on the variables that you're given, and then we'll rearrange the equation and plug the variables in. So here I have V, T, A, and U, so I need an equation that has only these and nothing else. And looking at my equations list, I can see that this one is the only equation that has V, U, A, T, and nothing else, so that's the equation that I'm going to use. The next step of the guess method is to isolate the thing we're trying to solve for, which in this case is u. Isolating u is pretty easy here. I'm just going to subtract a t from both sides. So when I do that, I get u is equal to v minus a t. So now I just need to plug this in. So u is equal to 16 meters per second minus 2.1 meters per second squared multiplied by the time of 3.4 seconds. So when I multiply these out, the seconds will cancel out. This will become negative one. So you'll notice that these units will both be in meters per second. And when I multiply this and subtract, I'm going to get an answer of u is equal to 8.86 meters per second. So that's how you solve the first problem. So number three, we have S, T, A, and we need V. And this one's a little strange because this is the only one, I think, in this part of the worksheet where there's not actually a single equation that connects just these four. So I'm gonna have to solve for U first and then use U to solve for V. So I'm gonna start by solving for U and then I'll use that to solve for V in a moment. So I have S, T, A, and U, and the equation that connects those is S is equal to U, T plus one half A, T squared. So isolating U here, I'll start by subtracting this whole term. So S minus one half A, T squared is equal to U, T. And now to get U by itself, I can just divide by T. So U is equal to s minus one half a t squared over t. So now I'll just plug in numbers for u. So s is 200 meters minus one half a times t squared. over t will be equal to u. So when I calculate this out, I find that u is equal to 109 meters per second. So now that I have u, I can use that to solve for v. I'll just use the simplest equation. In my opinion, this one's the simplest. So v is equal to 109 meters per second plus a times t. And when I calculate this out, this actually will not be the correct answer down here. I'll correct this in class as well. So when I calculate this out, this becomes 337 meters per second. Moving on to number five, I have v, s, a, and u. So the equation that I'm going to use for that is the one that connects all four and nothing else. So it's gonna be v squared equals u squared plus two as, and I'm looking for u by itself. So I'm gonna start by subtracting two as. So I get v squared minus two as is equal to u squared. So that means that u by itself, taking the square root of both sides, is gonna be the square root of v squared minus two as. So now I just need to plug this in. So 
So when I multiply this all out and take the square root, this is going to be equal to 59.5 meters per second.